So when I was 19 years old and I had just earned my black belt, my father and I were invited to Fort Lewis, Washington for a DVD signing and a jiu-jitsu demonstration. And when we were done with the demonstration, these soldiers who were in the audience were like, hey, Henner, can we spar with you? And uh, so I sparred with five of them back to back. And here's the first one, rocking and rolling. He's doing a good job kind of blocking my legs. And then there my leg comes over the head and I extend the arm and that's a done deal right there. It was all in good fun. These guys were great guys and solid jujitsu too. These guys kind of knew what they were doing because as you guys know, the US Army has been doing jujitsu since the early 1990s when uh, we began teaching the Special Forces and the US Army Rangers. And since then it has trickled down to affect basically the entire US Army to that Every single soldier in the U.S. Army knows jiu-jitsu, and this was the birth of the Gracie Combatives program. They needed a program that any soldier could learn basically how to defend themselves in the absolute least amount of time possible, and, uh, and the Gracie Combatives techniques were selected to accomplish this objective. So there was a nice triangle shot. He lost his balance, and uh, between triangle and straight armbar right there, he defends, gets caught in the triangle. This guy was the most skilled of all the practitioners, comes in looking to pass the guard, throws himself back, looks for the ankle lock, gets back up. It's clear this guy has trained for many years and uh, he's doing a good job kind of defending it in my open guard, just kind of feeling him out, seeing what his objective is going to be, pull him back into close guard. He leans forward a little bit, kind of keeps his head down, and is looking to defend the submission. So at this point, I start, I check his balance right there, did a little tip sweep, foot on the knee, and then I use my right leg to tap on his armpit and almost lost his balance. He regains by spreading his knees a little bit wider, stays a little bit lower. I climb up my guard kind of high, using this overhook on the outside arm here, keeping his arm pinned on the ground. He's keeping his head right in the center, doing a good job defending. And I'm just trying to see what he's going to do with his other arm, evaluating here, checking his base. Now he starts to push away, so I clear his head out of the center. Look, I'm going to clear his head out and then sit up. He thinks I'm going for a Kimura, but instead I go for the sit-up sweep. And there it is, right to the mount position. From here, start pinning his arm down for the Americana. He's fearful of the Americana, but I slide it over his head, invert my leg, spin around, straight arm lock. Boom. So here's another guy comes in, a little more cautious now that he sees his friend get tapped. So every time they're getting tapped, all their friends are like, ah, like cheering them on. There's the uh, hook sweep from the open guard there, kind of butterfly sweep. Uh, swing it over to the quarter guard. My foot's still trapped, but I'm not tripping right there. He has to let go. I know they can't bump and roll me if they have me trapped in the quarter guard, right? So when your foot is trapped like that, you don't have to worry too much. Head on the ground, neck hug situation. He has my arm kind of trapped pretty well there. See how he's trying to keep that overhook, but eventually he climbs it so high over my shoulder that he no longer has my arm trapped, which is a good thing for me. And uh, here I'm staying low just kind of controlling. Every time I mount, I expect these guys, especially with all their friends, you know, yelling at them and cheering them on, I expect these guys to go crazy to escape the mount. So I typically will let them marinate for a little while before I go for any submission. But once I feel him start to chill, you'll see I bring my knee in to start to pin his bicep down to kind of remove one of his arms from the equation. Limb isolation is what it's all about. And at this point, once I start to isolate that limb over there, you can't see it from this angle, but I start grabbing his throat with my right hand is now grabbing his throat. And I'm holding, and he doesn't think it's much. He starts to buckle a little bit. My hand's on his throat pretty persistently. Count the seconds here, and that's the tap. That was six seconds from the time I grabbed his neck. Standard procedure. So here, uh, I kind of pull guard again, butterfly hook on this guy, trap his front side arm, lift the hook, elevator sweep, right to mount. Once we land right there, hooks in. Again, this guy goes kind of wild actually from the bottom of the mount, like the most wild. This was the strongest guy. He was trying to like bump, bench press, bridge, turn, lift, reach. Look at that. So I pin his wrist down, hugging his neck with the left arm, pinning the wrist with the right arm. Start to slide my left knee up behind his head. And now here I'm starting to strategize my mind, my, my, my dreams, my aspirations are a mounted triangle choke. But because he's bridging so much, it's a liability to bring your right foot up around the neck during a bridge. So I'm literally counting the time between bridges, kind of like surfing in the ocean if you're trying to paddle out and the set comes in. You don't paddle out during the set, you wait till the set calms down. So here I'm feeling his energy, I'm feeling it drop, I'm feeling him deplete. And then suddenly when he's fully calm, my leg comes up and we're through. Boom. So you got to find the right move at the wrong time is the wrong move. So timing is everything. We had an incredible time that weekend. We couldn't be more thankful for our men and women in uniform and what they do for us and uh, to know that jiu-jitsu has infiltrated the army to the degree that it has is like absolutely mind-blowing and to be part of the family that had you know a significant part in making that happen brings me incredible pride um, that's the bottom line you guys so if you want to learn Gracie combatives you can join the US Army or find a certified Gracie Jiu Jitsu training center near you. The first three lessons are online and 100% free at GracieUniversity.com. I guarantee you will not regret it.